Hey everybody, good morning, good morning. Oh, I forgot to say this. Hello Facebook, music by Kyle Lovett. I do not own the rights to these amazing songs. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm going to give everybody um, a few minutes to come in. Glory to God. I know I am late, but y'all, my monitors would not come on. <laughs> my monitors wouldn't come on this morning. We're going to edit all of this out of the video. Um, and listen, I've been down on my hands and knees crawling and making sure everything was plugged in. And you all know how your wires get tangled. And listen, it's been a morning, honey. It's been a morning. So, but listen, just everybody while you're coming in, let's just bless him. Let's bless him. Okay. I, I, um... I had an old school praise and worship song in my heart this morning. They said, I woke up this morning like, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. Come on, while everybody's coming in, for he is worthy to be praised. Come on and tag somebody and share. Hosanna, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. I'm telling you, I woke up with just some old school music. We call it old. I call them classics. I'm going to call them classics. Classic praise and worship songs in my spirit this morning. Amen. And listen, truly the Lord is worthy of all of our praise. He's worthy of all the glory, worthy of all the honor, in spite of ourselves. He's so amazing. He's so am amazing. <clears throat> I believe Tiff Joy um, wrote that song. You're amazing. So amazing. My, my, my. That's how I feel this morning, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm excited about what God is doing in each and every one of our lives. Can I tell you prophetically? Can I say, I just lost two people. Can I tell you prophetically that this season is going to be unlike any other season that you have experienced? There are many, I'm telling you that I hear the word budding, budding, B-U-D-D-I-N-G. It's like things that have been planted. I'm telling you, they are now beginning to bud. I, I hear the Lord. I hear him. Things in your life that you have been, seasons you've planted, baby, you are are in your budding season. I just heard that as I was sitting here. You're in your things are about to begin to bloom in your life. And good morning to everybody who's coming in. I want you to get excited, hallelujah, about what God is doing because things are about to spring forth. Glory to God. Things are beginning to bud. And things begin to bud, you know, in the spring, you see, you know, the trees and you and you see the little, you see the little flowers and, the, and they're they, they're like a in a tight night. And listen, but that is the beginning of the blossoming. I'm telling you now, you are in your budding season. The, the plants, they're about to bloom. Lord, glory to God. And listen, and when you have a fruit tree, when you have a fruit tree or you have trees that are, that, that produce food, those same flowers produce fruit. God, those same things that spring forth and bud and bloom, they also produce fruit. Glory to God. And this fruit that is about to be produced in your life shall remain. Can I can I can I say that this morning? The fruit that's about to bloom, the, the things that are about to come forth in your life. I hear the Lord saying, listen. They, this time, it shall remain. I know you've had disappointments in the past. I know things have fallen apart in the past. I know. Listen, I know you've had hard times and you've had rough times. And I know you lost. And I know the first business didn't work. I know, listen, maybe the first ministry, maybe you went through, but you went to hell and back in that first ministry. But I'm telling you now, God says, go back and look again. I hear him. Hallelujah. Go back and look again because now things are beginning to bud. Glory to God. You are in your budding season. I just heard that as I sat here and I began to sing and think about the goodness of the Lord. Listen, <laughs> you are entering into a good season. Listen, and don't allow yourself to think yourself out of it because of things that have happened to you in the past. This season in your life is going to be greater than any other season you've experienced. Your latter days, ah, God, your latter days, can I prophesy to somebody? Your latter days shall be greater than your former days. Hallelujah.
hallelujah. Listen, you can take it to the bank. And that's why you're experiencing all the warfare. I'm not on my topic yet. That's why you are experiencing all of the warfare that you have been experiencing. That's why your, your finances have been tight. Come on here. It's not because you're not working. It's not because you're not hustling. It's not because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. But it seems like every single time you get ready to step out and do something, the enemy comes in. And, and listen, some kind of emergency rises up. Come on. So all kinds of crazy stuff starts happening with the car. Come on. All kinds of stuff, crazy stuff starts happening with the kids. It's because the enemy is trying his best. Come on. To discourage you from walking into this new season called your budding season. Things, I'm telling you now, the buds are out and they're about to bloom. Listen, the things that you planted, they're about to bloom. You're in your budding season right now. Don't give up and don't faint in this hour. Glory to God. Don't faint in this hour. Don't fade in this time because listen, God is about to do some amazing things in your life. The Bible lets us know, listen, if you don't faint, you're going to reap. You're going to reap if you faint not. Glory to God. So the enemy is throwing, it's like he's throwing out the Hail Marys. Glory to God. He's throwing out Hail Marys right now because he wants you to faint. If you quit before you cross the finish line, listen, that means that you don't win. And the enemy knows it and he understands that. Listen to me. You are about to bloom. Glory to God. Don't you faint now because you're about to cross the finish line. I heard that. <laughs> don't faint. Because you're about to cross the finish line. Glory to God. You know, I, I, I visualize now those Kenyan runners, right? We all know the Kenyans, they kind of dominate that long distance running. But I've also seen videos where they've been running so long that get close to the finish line and the legs begin to get wobbly. Come on. Oh, glory. Come on. Y'all have seen the videos and, and, and they're struggling to get across the finish line. But listen, no matter how weak their legs get, they are still determined that they're going to cross over. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I just said something good right there. Listen, I want you today to be determined in this hour, in this season to cross over. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know it's hard right now. I know it's crazy right now, but come on. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you in this season to have a determination that you're going to cross the finish line no matter what. Don't deter from the plan that God has given you. Don't turn back because things look crazy. Come on here. Come on. It's just a smoke screen. Can I encourage somebody today? I'm just encouraging somebody while I'm prophesying. Listen, don't allow the enemy. Don't be fooled by his smoke screen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't be fooled. Come on here. By the mirage. You know what a mirage is? A mirage is an image that you think you see. <laughs> Come on. When you're in a desert, listen, and you're thirsty, then you're in. If somebody's stuck in the desert, they're going to begin to see and hallucinate and see water. Come on here. Oh, God. It's just a mirage, but they keep walking and they find out there is no water. And listen, God is saying today, don't you pay attention to the mirage. Don't pay attention to what you think you see in this hour. I know it looks crazy to your natural eyes, but we understand that we walk by faith and not by sight. Ah, oh, come on. I don't care what you've heard. I don't care what somebody has said. I don't care who's coming against you. I don't care who's trying to get you out of position. I don't care who's coming against you on your job. God is saying today, listen, you are in your budding season. This is not my, this ain't even my text for the day. I just sat here and started prophesying. Listen, you are in your budding season and you're about to bloom and things are about to come forth in your life. Don't you dare give up now. Don't you dare stop. Come on. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare fall down. Don't you, this is maybe God is saying, keep pushing, keep pushing because you're about to cross over. You're about to cross over into your good season. You're about to cross over into the season where you're going to eat the good of the land. You better hear what I'm saying. I received that if you don't. You're about to eat the good of the land because you believed God. Come on here. He said you believe to see him in the land of the living. You're about to eat the good of the land. You're about to harvest. Come on here. Your harvest is coming forth. But you can't quit. Don't stop watering. <laughs> don't stop watering your garden. Glory to God. Don't stop. Don't stop watering. Come on. Stop watering because of what you think you see. Ah, come on. Ah, God, don't you stop. Listen, because you're about to bloom. You're about to blossom. Glory to God. Everything in your life is about to blossom. Every good thing that you've been believing him for is about to blossom. Glory to God. It's about to come forth. And listen, and God says, I've had your back the whole time. Can I hear you? Oh, God. I'm, 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 I'm going to 
go to my text, but I hear him. I hear him. He said, I've had your back the whole time. Even when you couldn't see me, son, even when you couldn't see me, daughter, I had your back the entire time. I was with you in the fire. Can I remind you? Come on. God is with you in the fire. Come on. He was with you when you went through the trial. He was with you. Glory to God. Come on. He was with you when they walked away from you. God was with you. Come on here. When you experienced tragedy, God was with you. When you lost that loved one, he was with you. When you lost your job, he was with you. Come on. Uh, when the layoffs took occur, took took place, he was with you in the fire. Come on, has he not brought you out? Has he not brought you through? Come on, I need to remind somebody today to be grateful. Oh, God, because he's been with you. I know sometimes it didn't feel like it, but my Bible tells me Jesus said that he'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Oh, but the problem is sometimes we forsake him. We get frustrated in the battle, but God says, I was still with you. I'm still faithful. I'm still a man of my word. Come on. I still have to keep my word. I still have to do what I said I was going to do because I'm a covenant keeping God. Oh my God. He's a covenant keeping God. You better rejoice right where you are because you're about the bud. Listen, the bud is about the bloom. The bud, I hear him, I hear him. The bud is about the bloom. And for those of you that just joined, we understand, listen, on fruit trees, when you first see a bud, listen, and then it turns into a flower, that same flower turns into a fruit. God says you're about to eat. <laughs> you're about to eat. Oh, God. You're about to eat what you have planted. Mm. You're about to reap what you have sown. Good God Almighty. I'm talking about the good seeds. I'm talking about the things that you've done. I'm thinking I'm talking about your service. I'm talking about what you didn't have any money, but you pressed to the house of God. You better hear me. You better hear me today. Even through hard times. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, even when your heart was overwhelmed, Ooh, come on, even when your heart was overwhelmed, you didn't totally give up. Yeah, yeah, maybe you didn't go to church for somebody as much as you used to, but you didn't lose your praise. You better hear me. Listen, God is counting it all. And listen, your budding season is about, you're about to bloom. I hear him. You're about to bloom. Glory to God. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, I got to be led by the Holy Ghost. I had a whole thing going on about the heart and guarding your heart because out of it flows the issues of life. But listen, I'm going to get to that. But I just hear God. I hear the prophetic utterance. You better hear what I'm saying. You are about to spring forth like never before. You're about to reap. Come on. You're about to live in houses that you didn't build. You better hear what I'm saying. Oh, come on. Come on. This is the season. I know we're in a recession, but I'm talking to some, I'm talking to the believers. I'm talking to kingdom folk today. I know the USA is in a recession, but baby, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You better hear what I'm saying. But we are about to reap. We are walking into the greatest harvest that we've ever walked into. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your bud, your your budding season. You you're budding right now, but it's about the bloom. <laughs> come on. Come on. When my grandmother right, she had flowers all the time. She she always had a bed of roses in her yard. She always had some kind of flowers. And in the spring, when they first came up, they were just buds. They were just little balls. Come on here. The the the, the leaves, the, the flowers were wrapped. Come on, in kind of a cocoon. But listen, but but it only took a couple of weeks. Somebody say a couple of weeks. <laughs> Woo! It only took a couple they began to bloom and the next thing you know it started to open up come on the bud is about to open up in your life the bud is about to open up in your life and everything in your life is about to bloom you better hear me that's why some people had to go <laughs> that's why you had to learn who your enemies were so you wouldn't take them with you in this next season can I, can I help you? Can I help you today? That's why it happened. Oh, come on. That's why it happened. Eee. You're about to bloom. Baby, Whoo! it's your time. It's your season. And it is your turn. Oh, God. It's your turn, baby. I, for everybody under the sound of my voice. Facebook one, Facebook page two, YouTube. Come on. It is time for you to bloom. Don't hold yourself back, yourself back 
in this season. Don't think that it's too good to be true what God is about to do in your life. Don't think for one minute because God is a covenant keeping God. Yeah, I know it took 20 years. <laughs> I promise you this way back in the day and you had a lot of false starts. Oh, come on, I'm talking to somebody today. <laughs> and you had a lot of false starts and, and you had a lot of things and you thought you were in your season and you weren't. Come on, I know how that is. I know what it's like to have false starts. Mm -hmm. But baby... This is it. Somebody on the line right now, it's hard for you to believe it even right now because you've experienced so much disappointment. Ah, but glory be to God. <laughs> God says, I'm going to make it up to you. Mm, I heard that. Hallelujah. God just said to me to tell you that I am a covenant keeping God and I'm going to make up for everything that you lost. Woo! Everything that the locust. Oh, come on, somebody. And the cake of water. And the palm word. Oh, you better hear it. Come on, you better hear the word. Come on. Everything that you lost, God says, I'm giving it back and I'm multiplying what you lost. Do you hear me? You, I'm multiplying it. Count everything that you lost at, in those past seasons as a seed. <laughs> and we know a seed grows into a plant. And listen, we know what it does. It buds. You better hear me. You better hear the word of the Lord today. Mm -mm. I don't even think I'm going to get to my text today. Hear the word of the Lord. Everything that you lost, everything that you gave up, everything that you had to walk away from. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's about, listen, count it as a seed. God counts it as a seed. Everything, those, that house you lost, those cars you lost, that job you lost, baby. Count it as a seed. And now it's about to spring forth and you're in your budding season right now. And when you bud, listen, it only takes a short amount of time to go from budding to blooming. You better hear what I'm saying. Hear me. Hear what the Lord is saying. Uh, it's your time. It is your turn. It is your season. I'm telling you prophetically, this is going to be unlike any other time you've experienced. Forget the things of the past. Do you hear me? Forget the days of old. Forget the disappointment. This is why we've got to clean our heart. Because if we don't clean our heart, we won't have room to receive what God has for us. Oh, God. If, you, if you're still stuck in the disappointment of the past, this word will not resonate with you. And, it, and, and we all know it happens according to our faith. If your faith is jacked up because of your past seasons, you won't be able to go forth. That, that bud's going to sit right there and it won't bloom because your faith is not lining up with what God is saying to you. Oh, I just lost somebody because I, I ain't prophesying no more. Come on. You've got to get the old, the old things. Forget the former things. Oh, God. I'm doing a new thing, God is saying. I'm doing a new thing. Oh, God, forget the former. Let me find that scripture. Let me find it in Jeremiah. Huh? I know it's in Jeremiah. Oh, my God. It might not, wait a minute. That's, no, it's Isaiah. Wrong prophet. Come on. <laughs> Listen to me. This is the NIV version. It says, forget the former things. I'm still prophesying. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a what? A new thing. Mm -hmm. Now it what? It springs up. Come on, somebody. All oh, God just said is that you're about to bud. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Cool, God. If your heart is still contaminated with what has happened, listen, you will not be able to perceive anything that I'm prophesying to you now. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Now, I'm old school. I love the King James Version. I love the King James Version. Listen, let me find it. Let me find it. Everybody has all these translations. I'm old school. I'm going to find it right here. Listen, he says, forget the former things. You got to forget what has happened to you. You take the wisdom from what has happened to you. But you cannot allow what happened to you to hold you captive. You can't allow it to keep you from moving forward. That is not God's will. That is not what he wants you to do. 
It says, behold, I will do a new thing now. Come on, somebody put in the comments now. Oh, God, I'm not, a, I'm not on Facebook, so hello to everybody that's on the line. God bless you. But somebody put in the comments now and, make, and put it in capital letters. Come on. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. <laughs> My God, my God, my God. <laughs> I will make a way. Come on. Shall it not spring forth? Come on, somebody say now. Let me, let me jump on Facebook real quick and see who I have on the line today. Listen, it's going to spring forth. And when things spring forth, <laughs> they begin to bloom. They begin to blossom. When they spring forth, listen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to spring. It's gonna, this thing is going to pop. Do you hear me? This here is going to happen so fast for you, but you cannot be stuck in the past. Not, no, no, no. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good morning, Prophet Asia. Good morning, Elder Nadine. Good morning, Pastor Michael. God bless you all. Listen, it's coming forth. It's coming forth. Come on, come on, somebody on the line. It's coming forth. Baby, I got news for you. This is it. Huh? This is it. This is the time. This is that season. No more false starts for you. I hear the Lord saying. No more. No more. This is the real deal, baby. <laughs> Forget the disappointment of your past. Don't let that affect your new season. Don't let it affect or infect. Oh, come on. Your new season. I just heard that. Infect. Your old stuff will infect your new season. It will poison it. Those thoughts, you've got to cast down imaginations like never before in this season because of what God is trying to bring in your life. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's like... It's like trying to enter into a new relationship, but you keep, but you can't get past the past. Come on. Now you blame, now you got a good man, you got a good woman, but they got to pay for what all the bad ones did. Come on. You can't let this thing contaminate what God is about to do, this new thing that he's doing in your life. You cannot allow it. Come on. I had a whole different topic, but I, I just got to go with what God is saying today. Don't let this old season infect your new season. Do not try to put new wine in the old wine skin in this hour. Come on, stop. And listen, even I hear it, I hear it. Listen, you might even have to seek God for new strategy in this hour. So you won't contend. So, because your old ways might not work in this new season. I, I'm not in Who in this budding season? When things are about, well, you've got the water. Listen, you've got to continue to take care of the thing that you've planted, that has been planted in you. Yeah, yeah, I just hear them. I'm just flowing. I'm just flowing today. This is why it's so important for us to guard our hearts with all diligence. Come on. For out of it flows the issues of life. Listen, your old issues, I prophesy, I decree and declare over your life now that your old issues will not contaminate this new season. Can I speak it? Can I speak that over your life? Your part. Because when a prophet speaks, listen, things go to go into motion in the realm of the spirit. But but if your mind, no, come on. But if your mind cancels everything that the prophet is saying, you cannot blame God. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sit that there in defense of the prophets today. huh? Because y'all love to blame us when stuff don't work because you didn't do your part. I got to defend the prophets today. I'm, I, I, uh, <laughs> come on, come on. Don't, I don't want to lose you because I'm not prophesying. That's the problem. Come on here. We love to get prophecy, but we don't want to get the maintenance to, to keep the prophecy, to get the prophecy to come to pass. No, 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 no. You've got to be willing to seek God for the strategy. <laughs> because I'm telling you, I'm telling you what season you're in, but you've got to, you're responsible for the maintenance. <laughs> oh, my God. You're responsible for the maintenance. He, God, come on. Just like, listen, when my grandmother planted those flowers, when those roses began to spring forth in the bud, listen, she still had to get out there and water it every day or every other day. Mm -hmm. Come on. She still had to put the pest control on the flowers. <laughs> so, the, so, so, listen, so the locusts and the palmer worm and the canker worms, come on, wouldn't come and eat it up. Yee, God, she had to water it. Come on, and we water.
water this thing. We water our prophecies with the word. Come on, we water it with our faith. Come on, we water it by seeking him. We water it by getting his strategy and his plan. David never did anything without inquiring of the Lord. Shall I go up? Come on. Come on. Listen, that's why you got to guard your heart in this hour. And listen, not only do you have to guard it, you've got to clean it. <laughs> because, listen, I don't want you, I don't want you to miss what God is doing simply because you could not receive it because of what your past has told you. Because of what your past, now let me put a pen right here real quick. I'm going to say something really important. So hang in here with me. I'm going to get back to prophesying probably. But listen. You got to guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life. A flow, it's something that is constant. So in this hour, in this season, may I challenge you to look at your patterns. Can I can I challenge you today to look at what's been flowing out of your heart? You can tell by what your patterns are, baby, huh? You can tell by your patterns. By your repeated cycles. In this hour, you've got to get to the bottom of your cycles. Because it's your cycles that cancel out your prophecies. Ah. Uh, it's your pain that cancels out prophecies. God can sit here and speak a word to you over and over and over again. But if your mind does not come up, come on, if you cannot agree with what God is saying about you because of what has happened, if you're mad, you're still mad, watch this, at God. <laughs> because of what happened in your past. Hey. My God today. Huh. You're going to cancel out prophecy. You're going to cancel out everything that I just prophesied to you. That's why you got to guard your heart. You've got to protect it and you've got to maintain it. Oh, God. Because out of it is what's going to flow. Out of it flows the issues of life. Good God Almighty. But listen, you're in your budding season. You are in your budding and your blooming season. Things, listen, you are in the beginning stages of of your of your blossoming season and like i said when you see those blossoms on fruit trees listen what that flower turns into an apple a plum it turns into fruit and this fruit listen if you get your heart clean if you are able to receive this this fruit is fruit that's going to remain oh god it's going to be fruit that's going to be manna to you consistently and constantly Come on, I'm talking about a perpetual blessing. I'm talking about the, f the kind of flow where you don't have to worry about anything ever again in your life. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of flow I'm talking about today. That's the kind of fruit I'm talking about remaining. Good fruit. Eating the good of the land. I, can't, I don't care about a recession. Come on. Come on. Listen, when we serve God, we are recession proof. I, I, I just said something good right there. We're recession proof. Listen, because we're in alignment with the kingdom. Because our source, because God is our source. I don't care. Listen, how high the prices get, God's going to look out for his people. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? We are kingdom. Come on. We, we, we don't even subscribe to the U.S. economy. I know. Listen, I know we're in the world, but we're not of the world. You better catch that. Come on. We are kingdom citizens. Uh, come on. Whatever we need, we have authority to pull it out, the, out of the realm of the spirit. Hear what I just said. We have authority to pull it out of heaven. Come on here and bring it down to earth. You better hear me. You got to walk. No, but, but listen, but if you're still walking in a defeated place, you won't even have enough courage, listen, to speak and pull down what you need. Woo. Let his will be done in earth as it where as it is in heaven. Uh, come on. But you that's why you've got to heal so you can believe again. That's a word for somebody. God says heal so you can believe again. Oh, God. I just said something real good. Heal. So you can believe again. Heal. Somebody type that in the comments for me. Heal. So you can believe again. <laughs> I believe in God. I believe in God for some crazy stuff. Come on. For some crazy stuff. Woo, what people will think is crazy. But because I know who I serve. I know I can believe for it. 
I don't, I am going to have my beachfront condo or house, whatever I choose. I'm going to have it because I believe God. Do you hear me? That's a desire that he put in me. So he's going to do it. As long as I'm obedient. Huh? If you're willing and obedient, you're going to eat the good of the land. Now, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's something before that comma. <laughs> if you're willing and obedient, you're going to eat the good of the land. So listen, you can, you can take this word. And you can and you can look at those buds and just look at them like they're ordinary and pass them by. You can look at them and believe they're never gonna open up for you. You can believe that things are never gonna blossom for you because of what is happening in ground ruin your new season. Uh -huh. Don't let what God was teaching you some things. He was getting some stuff out of you in that in those hard places. Do you hear me? Come on. He was breaking pride off of you in those hard places. He was building your confidence in those hard places. Oh, come on here. He was getting lust out of you in those hard places. Now, not just, I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about lusting after things. He was getting your motives purified in those dark places. Come on. In those hard seasons, he was purifying you for this season. But if you're stuck in the pain of the process, you won't move. You'll be stuck. Come on here. You, you'll be sitting there. Come on. Waiting for God to do something that he's already done. Do not be like the man that sat by the pool of Bethesda. Waiting for the angel of the Lord to trouble the water. Do not be like him. When Jesus simply said, listen, take up your bed and walk. You don't have to wait. He was sitting there, listen, full of reasons why he couldn't be blessed. Hey, He was sitting there, listen, every time I try to get up, everybody beats me to it. Oh, God Almighty. Listen, Jesus wants you to, listen, your faith is in me, man. Come on. It's in me. Stop looking at the external circumstances. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing. Listen, stop thinking that it's not for you. Woo! Because you see everybody else. You are looking from the eyes, through the eyes of low self-esteem. You are looking through the eyes, oh God. You're sitting there like you don't deserve to be blessed too. <laughs> because of what has happened to you. He let his circumstance dictate to him that he would never be healed. And then here comes Jesus. Can I, can I, can I help you? Jesus comes along and says, will thou be made whole? Jesus comes along and says, listen, man, take up your bed and walk. You don't need, you don't need what you think you need. Can I say something? Can I prophesy? Can I tell somebody? You don't need what you think you need in this season. Ah! God, I just said something good. I felt that. You don't need who you think you need in this season. You don't need what you think you need in this hour. Listen, all you need is a word from the Lord. <laughs> Woo! God, Jesus gave him a strategy. He said, take up your bed and walk, sir. Come on. It's just that simple. <laughs> it's just that simple. Take up your bed and walk in this hour. Don't let what crippled you in the past. Whoosha, huh? Oh God, what has crippled you? Come on, matter of fact, I decree and declare over you now that what has crippled you in the past will no longer cripple you. Come on, I command. Listen, I speak to your spine. I speak to your spine. The spine, listen, that's your boldness. That's your courage. I speak to your spine now, and I command it to line up with the will and the word of God. Whoosha, you're going to get up and walk like you've never walked before. You're going to, matter of fact, you're going to run and not be weary. Woo! Listen, you, and when you do walk, you're, gonna not, you're not going to faint. Oh, come on, somebody. Listen. Oh, God, this is your season. This is your hour. This is your time. Don't you miss it looking at the circumstances. Don't you miss it looking at, I don't have enough money to do this. And I don't, listen, there's so much stuff you can do for free on the internet. It's crazy. Sometimes God is just, he's just waiting for you to take one step. And he'll meet you the rest of the way. But if you sit there and make excuses, if you sit there and look at what you what what you don't have, when your when your father has a the, owns the cattle of a thousand hills, you'll never move. Hey God, if you think that this is the strategy for you to get out, come on. Well, maybe I gotta make friends with somebody that got money. My father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. All you need is a word and a strategy. And some faith. God will make it. He will move you the rest of the way. Do you hear me? He'll meet you. But you've got to move. 
There's no point in having a budding season and you're about to bloom. Come on here and you're scared to move because of what has happened to you in the past. Come on, come on. Whew. You're scared. You're scared to get in another relationship because of what had happened to you in the past. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Come on. Come on. When God said, he clearly said, it's not good that the man should be alone. He, that's the word. He said it from the beginning. Come on here. He But you're scared to move. Every little thing scares you. God can speak a thing and say, that's your wife right there. That's here. That's her. Listen. Oh, come on. But as soon as she does one little thing because of your fear, oh, come on. You run it. That ain't it. Mm -mm. And God already said it. And he made it very clear. So what you do then you go back to what's familiar and what broke you in the first place because you didn't heal. Come on, God is challenging us to heal from the things that broke us in the past so we can move into this new season. Woo, God. Out of your heart is what flow. Is what's in you is going to flow out of you. Come on, if you're scared, that's what's going to flow out of you. Who <laughs> Shanda Baha say? You can tell out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth's going to speak. If you always speak a negative, that's because of you, you've been broken. Come on, it's because your faith has been shattered somewhere. It's because you, you're talking like the person who failed. You can tell where you are by what you speak. Hey, God Almighty. Ooh, Listen, I refuse to think like a broke person. I refuse to think broke. I refuse. I don't care what my bank account says. Listen, I'm not going to look broke. I'm not going to talk broke. I'm not going to act broke. Do you hear me? Come on. Because I understand that my father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. I understand that my word tells me if I seek first the kingdom of God, all these things shall be added unto me. I Come on here. Because I, I stand on what the word has told me. Come on. And I know that somehow God's going to cause something to happen um, as long as I'm walking, as long as I'm being led by the spirit. Come on. Something's going to happen. Something's good is going to happen. You better hear me. You better hear me. God, say, God is saying, now get that stuff. Get all that old stuff out of your heart. Get those old cobwebs. Come on, I'll dust yourself off. Get the cobwebs off of your heart. Stop sitting in what hurts you. Stop sitting in your pain. Stop sitting and wallowing there. Come on here. It's like it's a cesspool. Come on, oh God, I hear you. It's a cesspool. And it's sit there to, to sit there and, and eat you alive. The devil is a liar. Not on my watch, baby. <laughs> Not on my watch. Because I'm going, because you're going to get this word today. Or you're going to get it today. Who shine that up? I see you. You sitting there. You, you sit in pain. Listen, it just eats at you and eats at you and eats at you. <clears throat> and God never designed that. He never designed it to do that. Oh, but the devil does. Oh, but the devil did. Come on. He, listen, you've got to understand. I'm going to talk to somebody who's mad at God. Can I, can I talk to you today? The enemy hath done this. The devil did it. Yes, God allowed it to happen. Yes, he did. But I want to challenge somebody to stop being angry with God. When you understand that he's sovereign. Oh, God. When you understand, listen, those are the times you need to look back at everything that went right in your life. And you need to remember how faithful God has been. Listen, matter of fact, you ain't got to dig that far. All you've got to do is look at the fact that you opened your eyes this morning. You've got a reason to be grateful. <laughs> oh my God, you've got a reason to be grateful. But you're mad at God. Come on, because of a tragedy that took place in your life. I was mad at God for a long time when I lost everything that I worked for. Oh, I was mad, honey. Y'all know I'm going to tell on myself. I was mad at him. <clears throat> how you, how you gonna, I'm sitting here serving and praying and I'm, and I'm prophesying to people and I'm paying my tithes and this is the thanks I get. Oh, yes, I was being a whole brat about it. I sure was. Listen, I want to talk to you. It's time that you understand. Listen, you, you got to understand that everything you lost was a seed. I didn't know how to feel when, 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 my, when my godson got killed. What? <clears throat> Helping somebody. And I still think he was set up to this day. You, and, and it's so unfair. So unfair. Things happen to us in life that are unfair. But you know what? I said, but God, I got to keep going. 
I got to keep going. That's a pain I've never experienced in my life. When I looked on, I didn't even get the call yet. Listen, it was free to son, my friend I just lost. I said, God, what in the world? I know I'm not reading what I think I'm reading. I found out on Facebook, and I was crawling around on my floor in my house, butt naked, screaming to the top of my lungs. That's a pain I never want to feel again. Do you hear me? And I decree and declare that I won't. <clears throat> Ooh, God Almighty. There are things in life that happen to us that we will never understand until, uh, listen, until we see Jesus. Until we see Jesus. Amen. Until we see him. But God, I got to trust you. Oh, God, I got to trust you. I got to trust you. No matter what I see, no matter what happens. <clears throat> I couldn't understand why my dad promised me, why God promised me my, that he was going to raise my dad up off the bed. That showed me a vision of me walking out of the hospital with him. And it came to pass. But then 30 days later, he was gone. Wait a minute. Now, you ain't tell me that part, God. Hold up. Wait, 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 what? I believe to, in my heart of hearts, I believe that, that God allowed that to happen because my dad had rededicated his life to the Lord. I believe that God said, I'm going to take him now. Well, I know. Come on here. I, that, that, some things we'll never fully understand. But th that's when you got to look back and say, what would they want me to do? Some things will happen to make you want to be like, oh, never mind. When I lost everything, I was like, oh, never mind this. <laughs> but, baby, things happen to you because you're anointed. Can I, uh, can I help you? It's because you're anointed. It's because of the call on your life. That devil, listen, he, he, he knows he got to come at you hard. Oh, God. Let me take something. Let me do something that I believe will shut them down. Listen, I'm challenging somebody today to get back up again and show that devil that you are not a quitter. Mm -hmm. I'm not a quitter. Yeah, you might knock me back. Come on here. Come on, but God is challenging somebody to get back up again today because you're in your budding season. I don't want you to miss it. This had nothing to do with what I, I got all these notes and God took me a whole different direction. It's, it's, you got to get out of that. Listen, you're in your budding season. This is the season for you to bloom. This is the season, listen, where God is going to vindicate somebody. This is the time when God's going to vindicate somebody. I know they talked about you like a dirty dog at church. Can I talk to somebody? I know they wounded you. I know they hurt you. I know. I know what it's like to be on the end of a leader that don't even like you. <laughs> I've been on the end with a leader who was jealous of me, who did not like me. Then I, then I came to find out, listen, woo, I came to find out, that's when, I, that's when I experienced what a Jezebel spirit really was. You hear me? But I mean, this leader was tearing me down. But, and I'm wondering why the people in the church don't like me. It's because of what the leader would say. And they worship the ground she walked on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She hated me because, because I had the real oil. Came to find out that she had that she would be up there prophesying stuff because she because she had all these other people telling her stuff. And then she would get up there like she was a superhero and this accurate prophet. Because I had the real oil. I didn't have to ask people what was going on. So you never know why people are doing what they're doing. All we know is that it hurts while it's happening. Mm -hmm. That's all we know. It hurts while it's happening. But you can't stay there, baby. You can't stay there. You can't stay in what happened to you. God, God is a God of progression. Not regression. He wants us to be moving forward. Come on, we, we know the song. And I will follow you forward. Come on, you make all things new. Yes, you make all things new. And I will follow you forward. Come on, God wants us to move forward today because we're in our budding season. Budding season, forward. God is saying forward. <coughs> Soldiers are always challenged to what forward march. Oh, come on. <clears throat> we can't stay stuck 
no more. Come on, I, I'm here today to be your midwife and to help you birth this thing. Come on, I'm here to be your midwife and your purpose pusher today. You got to push past everything that happened to you. Everything, because you're in a new season and a new time. Mm. I'm doing a new thing. I will do a new, I just feel like singing today. Thing in you. I will do a new thing in you. Watch this. Whatever you ask for and whatever you pray for, all will be blessed. All will be blessed, saith the Lord. <laughs> I'm a little flat today. The signs are cutting up, but it's all right. I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you. A new thing. Whatever you ask for. And whatever you pray for. All will be blessed. I said all will be blessed. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say it again and I'm going to get off of here. All will be blessed. Oh, save the Lord. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, you're in your budding season. Things are about to bloom and spring forth. Don't you miss it because of what your past has told you. What your past says has nothing to do with you today. Has nothing to do with where you are today. Nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing. Has nothing to do with it. You take the wisdom from the past. Yeah, now I can look now. I can see a Jezebel spirit a mile away. I take the wisdom. Come on here. But I don't take the pain. Whew. Come on. Now I can empathize with somebody who has lost their parent unexpectedly. You take the wisdom. But I can't stay stuck in the pain. You get, y'all get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I can't stay stuck in the pain of what happened. I, I, I wrestle. Listen, my, 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 my girl, you all know it. Me and my friends, since we were seven years old. And I cannot understand for the life of me. Why her? Why her? Somebody loved the Lord, sweet, loved her husband, would do anything she could for anybody. I struggle to say, God, why her? Why Frida? Why? Of all people, all these evil people running around here, why her? But you know what? But I got to keep going. I got to think about, listen, you got to think about when you lose somebody, what would they want you to do? That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me going. My dad would tell me to keep preaching. Matter of fact, that's the last thing, the last conversation I had with him, and he died a few hours later. I told him, I said, well, Dad, I'm back ministering. He was like, good. I'm happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. I was worried. You got to think, what would they want me to do? That's what keeps me going. Frida would fuss at me if I sat down somewhere and curled up and was sitting there being pissed. She would, she would fuss at me like, girl, you better get your feet back up there and do what you're supposed to do. You got to think. My grandmother, my grandmother would show sure enough fuss at me if I sat there and was being, oof, and shut down because she was gone. You better get up from there. I can hear her. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to find a way to keep going, everybody. Because you're in your budding season. You got to look at those past relationships that hurt you. And know that God rescued you. Your, your perspective has to change so that you can reap this harvest that God has for you. Oh, God. Your perspective has to change. Come on. Everything that I lost was a seed. <laughs> for this new season that I'm about to walk in. Oh, glory be to God. It's, it's, a, it's about to spring forth. Come on, behold, we heard Isaiah 43 and 19. I should have known where that was. I study Isaiah and Jeremiah a lot, so I get them mixed up. <laughs> I will do a new thing. Shall it not spring forth? Oh, it's springing forth, baby, but you can't miss it. No, no, no. We're not missing it this time. You know, God just blessed me with a new with a new home, and I'm, I'm moving over. To, I just have favor with the guy, and I'm moving slowly. And, and I caught myself 
God, is this really for me? Why not? I asked for it. Why not? See, you've got to shut down those imaginations, those, those, logo, that logo, those, those arguments that come and tell you, listen, that it's not for you. You're going to have to do that in this season because, the, because your struggle will tell you it's not for you. And it'll watch and it'll mask it <laughs> and it'll sound like wisdom when it's really a form of fear. God, is this really happening to me? Yes, it's really happening. Listen, you're gonna have to tell yourself that a lot in this season. Yeah, it's really happening. You're gonna have to get you, you're sometimes you're so used to the struggle. You're so used to the struggle <laughs> that that the blessing feels weird. God never intended it for it to be that way. Children of Israel could not receive that first set, couldn't receive it because of the past. Because they were still in bondage in their mind in, because they had been enslaved so long. That's not going to be us. Oh, no, no, no. That's not going to be you. That's not going to be me. We're going to eat the good of the land. Like God promised us. Because we have been willing. And we have been obedient. Just because the enemy came to buffet us. Just because we experienced some warfare and some fail and some failures in the past. Doesn't mean that God is not going to do what he said he's going to do. He is a covenant keeping God. God told me when I was 12 or 13 years old. That my grandmother was going to live to be 90 years old. Guess how old she was. I, I didn't even know I was a prophet then. But I remember standing in my back hearing it clear as a bell I looked at my grandfather he was sitting on the porch cutting his toenails like he always did and I knew and I heard the Lord say he's going to have a heart attack when he's 70 years old I heard it he said but your grandmother's going to live to be 90 it happened just like that I didn't know I was a prophet then I, I didn't know so I was already prepared now of course I was asking God to extend her years all that who wouldn't who wouldn't? But she left here a few months after her 90th birthday. God is a covenant keeping God. He's going to do what he said he was going to do. And the only reason my grandfather died at 70 is because he's because he smoked cigarettes. So he kind of inevitably did it to himself. He didn't have to leave here that early. But the smoke. <clears throat> But God knew it. But guess what? He's a promise keeping God. He is. Can I just, I just want to remind somebody. He's going to do what he said he's going to do in your life. But if you're staying stuck in what happened. Listen. I, I just came to shake you this morning. Just came to shake you. I hear why I need a Bible. So I just feel like singing today. Shake us again. <clears throat> shake us again. Only you can. Shake us again. God is coming to shake us today. Shake us again. Shake us again. Come on. Only you can. Shake us again. God is coming to shake us again. Shake us again. Shake off all that old pain. Shake us again. Shake off all that trauma. Only you can. Only God can shake us again. Oh, my, 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 my. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You don't need it anymore. Your pain is expired. Can I talk? Your pain is expired. It, it has fulfilled its purpose. Don't you let it sit there any longer. Don't let it sit there any longer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Holding you captive. It, it served its purpose. Sometimes our pain is what took us to the next level. Some wrong people out of our lives. But we're stuck in the betrayal. We're stuck in what they said. We're stuck in how they turned on us. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. God tells me to tell you today that the purpose for that pain has expired. Some people you would have never let go of if they didn't betray you. <laughs> Some people you would have never let go of if you didn't find out what they said behind your back. Come on, if their motives weren't exposed. But you can't get caught. But we get stuck. We keep remembering what they said instead of instead of looking at it from the view, from the vantage point of God. We get
get stuck in what they did, what they said. No. No more. No longer. No longer. No longer. Oh, glory be to God. That pain is expired. Now it's time for you to go forth in purpose. You're in your budding season. You're about to bloom. Don't you let that pain hold you captive another day. Listen, y'all, I love you. I love you for real. Listen, I've been super busy, super duper busy, y'all, super busy. I've been swamped, but listen, listen, I'm going to get my calendar fixed and all that other stuff. I just had to kind of get a balance with my, um, with my new client, but listen, um, God is good. If you still want to set an appointment with me, I'm going to let everybody know that I have appointments with when they can set new appointments on their, on my calendar. Uh, listen, I'm here for you. I know it's been crazy these last few weeks, but I am not. But my first my first call, I don't care what 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 happens in the marketplace. My first call is this is this this ministry. So listen, God in my ministry, that's first. And it comes first and foremost. But I do that. If I seek first the kingdom of God, I take care of God and his people. Everything else in my life is going to fall in place. So listen, I love you all for real. Um, join me tomorrow night for Unhacked. Now, I'm probably going to pre-record it. So I might have on the same thing I got on today. <laughs> but we're joining me tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for Unhacked. Listen, I'm going to be coming back to Cleveland soon, too. All right, and I can't wait. I can't wait to go. This is this like this, this is where I was birthed. So I'll be coming back to Cleveland soon. I will let you know. I will keep you posted. Keep your eye on my Facebook page for all my speaking engagements and all that wonderful stuff. Listen, y'all, I love you for real. I love you for real. And don't you forget it. I got you. Listen, you can submit your prayer request to me anytime in my inbox. Just, just send me an inbox. When I say I'm going to pray for you, I do. I do. And, and, and we're going to talk. We're going to begin to talk. My next series, after we get done with the heart, we're going to talk about your authority in the realm of the spirit. We're going to teach y'all how to move some stuff around. In the realm of this, defeated lives because we don't know how to pray, we don't know which at what we're supposed to apply at what time. If I stated when I called my grandmama back from heaven, listen, it's because I had to remember, I had to get out of my grief real quick and remember who I was. <laughs> and I said, You are not leaving me tonight. I had to walk in my authority. You're not leaving me tonight. I don't care if you're here for 10 more days. You're gonna, you're not leaving here tonight, not like this, without me saying goodbye. No, you're not. She was here for 10 more days. Right after I said that, the paramedic said, we got a pulse. Ran her up out of here. Her eyes were all over. She was looking around like, what is happening? So you got to understand the authority you walk in. And you got to know how to use it and when to use it. All right? So listen, I love y'all for real. I love you for real. I will talk to you all later, and I'll see you tomorrow night for Unhacked. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you want to sew, the information is going across the screen. Um, Elder Nadine is going to put it in the comments as well. Feel free if I said anything to jolt you, to shift you, to get you up, to get you to take up your bed and walk because you're in your budding season. Go ahead and sow. Put a seed on it. All right. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Bye. Hallelujah.